In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to construct a control chart in Jump. For demonstration purpose, I want to monitor the test number of test cases executed uh, on average in a day and uh, the data per pertains to that. In this particular column, the ID of each sample is given. That means on what date it was collected. Since you can see that there are five samples which are collected on the on one particular date, it means that the subgroup size is five. Now to construct the control chart, go to analyze, choose quality and process, control chart, and choose the option you want. For example, if you want to construct individual moving range chart, you can choose IMR control chart. If you want to construct X bar or X bar R or X bar S chart, you can choose this particular option. If you want to choose P control chart option and P control chart option, you can choose from here. The procedure remains same for all the type of control charts. Now for uh, this situation, X bar control chart is most appropriate. So here I am going to mention ki what is the Y characteristic or what is the KPI or what is the quality characteristic under consideration. Now if your subgroup size is constant, you can directly write here. But if the subgroup size information you want the software to detect from some particular column in the data, you can choose that column. For example, here the subgroup size information is in the date column so you can choose that column and put under subgroup it is also a nice idea to choose the type of data uh, for example date is a nominal variable but it really makes a difference when we are calculating the control chart at it as it automatically identifies uh, the number of unique values but it is always uh, recommended that you select the correct type of data now if you want to make if you want to measure the or determine the variability within the subgroup based on range you choose the range chart if you want to do it uh, using the standard deviation you choose the standard deviation chart uh, range chart is used whenever the subgroup size is less than 10 less than or equal to 10 and range chart is used uh, standard deviation char uh, chart is used whenever the subgroup size is more than 10 and then click ok and you will get the control chart now suppose if you want to take out the out of control or uh, assignable cause uh, because uh, sorry a data point which you think is because of the assignable cause because it is out of the control limits you select that data point you select that point and then click on rows row hide and exclude and then you will see that the control limits are recalculated and even the average is recalculated so this procedure is same for all type of control charts